Her school friends demanded she should be allowed to stay, but their protests and social media campaign were to no avail. Yashika Bhagarati will be sent back to Mauritius tonight. The 19-year-old says she fears being raped if she returns. The Home Office say her case for asylum was carefully considered and she's not in need of protection. We spoke to Yashika on the phone on Sunday from Yarlswood Detention Centre where she was being held. I'm just all alone. I can't go to school. The place where I'm always at. I'm just away from everyone. I really love Mars. I just, I'm just hoping to get out from here and complete my A-levels. Although Yashika is here in the UK with her mother and siblings, her case has been dealt with separately because she's considered an adult. Yesterday, her mother made an emotional plea at Parliament's Home Affairs Select Committee. I just to free her from your sweet. I want her back. But despite pressure from MPs on the committee, the immigration minister stuck to his guns. He pointed out Yashika arrived separately to her mother, two years apart on visitor visas, and insisted he would not intervene. When we look at this case of uh, Ms. Bagarati, who is an adult, she applied for her asylum claim as an adult, we did come to the conclusion that it did not have that exceptional nature to mean that it was right for ministers to intercede. And if they've committed... Today, the chair of that committee says he urgently wants the minister to reconsider what he says is a cruel decision. We felt it was reasonable to get an explanation. After all, Yashika is not Abu Qatada. She's not a threat to national security. There is no urgency in getting her out now. And that's why I think that we need that opportunity to just make sure that uh, the case has been properly looked at. And so six weeks before she was due to take her A-levels here in London, Yashika Bhagarati is being sent back to Mauritius alone.